Number four, C. Have you got the question there to read out to me? Um, right, so my writing pad opens, then we can. Whoa. I have a new toy to show you. What is it? Oh, you'll see it, you'll love it. Oh. I put it on Moodle as well, if you want to play with it. Oh, what is it? You'll see, it'll load in a minute. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's on the yeah. question. <laughs> Yeah, Half Life 3. Yeah. yeah. I got an early release. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the. Um, minus 3x minus y by power 4. <coughs> okay, let's do this one as a bit of a revision from last week. So, in the exam, they could say expand this using Pascal's triangle. So they would need to see the triangle in your answer like this. Oh. They have to they have to see that to give you the mark to prove that you use Pascal's triangle. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah? yeah. So this one here would be um one minus three x minus y plus four minus three x minus y plus 6 minus 3x minus y plus 4 minus 3x minus y plus 1 minus 3x minus y and now the powers so we'll start with the x 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0 81. Yeah. 20, uh, 108. Yeah. Is it? I don't have a calculator. Um, Help no, the teacher no. out here. No, no, it's like uh, 27. Yeah, 27 times what is 108. <laughs> 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 uh, 54 x squared y and then 12 x y. Twelve X Y cubed plus Y four. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, write this one down. Now this is my toy. What do you think of it? Oh. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh now I can download this. It's on Moodle. <laughs> yeah, and it works, watch. Nice. Why did I buy a copy of it? <laughs> well, you can't use it in the exam. Oh. <laughs> <What? Why? laughs> okay. It works. Oh, cool. Did you try the mode? Yep, I was using it earlier today, so like mode 53. Yeah. Ah, uh, 3615? Okay. No answers for that one. And we can do, yeah. So, anyways, it makes it useful in class later because then I can easily show you how to do things on this. Mm -hmm. This is why I recommend this calculator as well because uh, it has lots of functions on it. Does everybody have this calculator at this point? Yeah, good. Do you need to buy a calculator? Do you want to write the name down? It's Casio 991. 991. Yeah. You need to buy one? Yeah, actually. Casio 991. And um, Starry, do you have one? Yeah. Yeah, you have it, great. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> you have a calculator? Uh, mine being delivered. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I do know Lee. Huh? Lee. I know Lee. Yeah, he's a He, he's a boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll yeah. yeah. me by Kazuto So when will you get it? Huh? Maybe 30 How recent? This week? Next week? This week. This week, okay.
All right, write this down and then uh, we'll have a look at another question from last week that you want to see. I did yeah. already. You wrote this down? And what about from last week? Is there anything else? Um, something you want to see more of or something that you had trouble with? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, which one? I have several in, 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 in inequalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a question in mind that you want me to do? Uh, yeah. yeah, which one? If you pick it out. So we're going to have a look at inequalities next. Yeah? I have a question. About this yeah, one? Yeah, the theorem uh, requires you to find the co coefficient of x squared over x. Yeah, that would be a different lesson. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you mean. That will be later. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, um, so which inequality now question? You have one? Yeah. You're writing it down? Okay. Guys, we're going to have a look at inequalities next. Can I scroll down? Yeah. Oh, yeah, read it to me. Read it to me. What is it? Minus 11? Yeah. Uh, then the sign ah yeah that one is less than or equal to less than uh, minus two x minus seventeen yeah and uh, less than equal uh, less than uh, mm -hmm. five yeah good good and do I tell you anything about the x like uh, I do I say anything like x is a real number or yeah. do I say anything like that in the question do you know what I mean do I say this yeah uh -huh. I probably say this probably anyway uh. We'll, we'll go with this. Okay. So what do we need to do first here? Who remembers what to do for this one? You can separate or... Ah, I don't like that way. The other way. You can way. do that one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what it was. Minus that plus... Uh, yeah. Add 17 plus to the side. Yeah. Not minus. Add 17 to every... Yeah. All three. So you get this one minus 17 plus 17, yeah. and then 5 plus 17. So you add 17 to each of the three parts. And how would you know that? You yeah, because the reason it's 17 is you want these two to cancel. So now you have 6 minus 2x and 22. Now what do you think I would need to do next to get cancel the minus two? Divide minus yeah, divide them all by minus two. Yeah. Like this. So these cancel. So now you have x. This is minus three and this one is minus eleven. But what happens when you divide by a minus? It becomes opposite. The sign yeah. flips around. Yeah. And this is because you divide by a negative. Do I also have to write this down? Mm -hmm. No, no. And you can give the answer like this. Um, minus, ele uh, minus 11 to minus 3. This is the answer mm -hmm. as well. Between minus 11 and minus 3. Okay. Yeah, you might want to write that one down. What else do we need to see? Um, yep. Um, the remainder. The remainder theorem, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, can I some five? Five, let me just check. Mm. No, don't remember number five. You'll have to read it to me. Mm -hmm. But in one moment, one moment, we're just waiting to write this down. Okay. Is five the last one? Yes. Yes, they were hard. Where? Number five? Yes. Uh, um, like Can I draw my like 
Yeah. But this one? Yeah. <laughs> this one? No. It's not quadratic. You have... No, for, for the other one. For quadratic one. Yeah. But for this one, no. Number line. Just number line, yeah. Just number line. Okay, you have this? Yes. Right. Can you read the question? It's probably find P and Q, yeah? yeah. And what, what's the equation? What's the uh, uh, factor? Um, um, X plus 3. X plus 3. And X minus 3. X minus 3. Ah, are factors? Yeah. Like this, of okay. you seem confused. Ah, no, but I'm trying for you to practice your reading. Let me see it. Ah! Let me see. Let me see the question. Go. Okay. I just, I just don't understand why. This P can be this. Mm, okay. I can find out why this is this and that is that. But I don't know why. Is this wrong? Yeah. This is okay? Yes, I understand. And this is okay? Yes. I can understand. Too. And I think you should minus. Because this. My, oh wait, no, this is this, is it? Yeah. No. Yeah. This is this, this is this, and I don't know why this is this. Uh, if I know how this can be this, then I can What's the first yeah. equation? This one, okay, put, which is this? Yeah. Okay, put a little star here, star. Okay, and then the second one is this one? Yeah. Okay, so put a little star there, right. So what you can do, you can do minus. So Q minus Q is gone. This minus this is maybe. Ah, okay. Maybe. Have you got a calculator? In your mind, yeah. And then uh, this minus this. Um, then this sure. okay. Yeah, maybe. Uh, is it impossible? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Q. Is my one number that? Forty? Yes. Yeah. Or ninety? Forty. Yeah. No. Forty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Plus eight. 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 Pl
higher the growth in. It's right. No, no. Um, it's the same. I didn't make a mistake. Yes, yes, same. Good. Okay. Let's have a look at this one. So if they're factors, what's the remainder? Zero. Zero. So we'll have P two over three cubed minus nineteen two over three squared plus six times two over three plus q equal equal what? Mm. Or oh, which one is this? Zero. Which question? 4D, is it? 5D? 5D. 5D, is it? Yeah. Okay, equals zero. Why yeah. equals zero? Because I said they're factors. factors. Okay, calculator time. Yeah. Right, so let me just... Uh, let me just add minus 19 bracket 2 over 3 One. squared plus 6 times 2 over 3. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, and we get... Does it work when you... Oh yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the same as a fraction. Minus 40 over 9. So this will be 8 over 27, is it? Yeah. yeah. P plus Q equals 40 over 9, if you bring it to the other side. So this is my first equation. And the second one would be P, 3 over 5 cubed, minus 19 times 3 over 5 squared, plus 6 times 3 over 5, plus Q equals 0. Right, let's see what I get here when I simplify. Minus 19 times 2 over 5 squared plus... Thank you. 3 over 5 plus 6 times... Hold on. I'm going too fast. 6 times 3 over 5. That's minus 81 over 25. So that would be 81 over 25 on the other side. 27 over 125. P plus Q. Okay. Now... What I'll do next is minus. So Q minus Q is gone. And we'll have 8 over 27 minus 27 over 125. So that would be 271 over 3375P. And then we have... The next one, which is 40 over 9 minus 81 over 25. 271 over 225. Uh, over 225, yeah. Now, what's nice here? What can I cancel? 271. And I can bring this up to the right. 3375 divided by 225. 3375 divided by 225 is 15. So I get P equals 15. And I'll just put that in here to get the Q. Q equals 40 over 9 minus 8 over 9 minus 8 over 27 times 15. So I have here... Hold on. 40 over 9 minus um, 8 times 15 over 27. Zero. Zero. Okay, so we get Q equals zero. Yeah. Now, 
let me show you something which you can't do in the exam, but you can do it to check your answer. So we want to check that we solve this correctly. So if we go to the calculator, zoom out a bit, and uh, let me just scroll a bit here. That's 5D. So if I just bring the calculator up, move it over here. Great, perfect. Okay, so you can do this on your calculator with me. If you turn your calculator on and go mode 51, you should get this. You want to check mode 51? You have this? Yeah. And then you type in 8 over 27, enter, because um, I'm typing in the two equations. The next number will be whoa. the next number will be one, correct? The next number will be forty over nine. The next number is twenty seven over one two five. Then one. And then lastly eighty one over twenty five. So my answer should be fifteen and zero. First answer, fifteen. Second answer. Zero. Nice. You can confirm your answer in the exam. Now you know it's right. Yeah. Have you seen this before on the calculator? No, 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 no. You have this calculator? I have, but I think. At home? No, no, at home, but I think you don't want that. Okay. I need a change. You sure do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because uh, you can see that this calculator is very <coughs> useful, very useful. Yeah, what, uh, it's to use. Practice. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, who was asking me that? Lucas. Yeah. Is that okay now? Yeah. Okay. yeah. What was the problem? Uh, um, I was confused. What I wrote. Ah. Uh, I wrote two things, and I saw other. So. Right in mistake. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay, that's good. Alright. What's next for you? In this same section? For sure? Okay. Well, I can do it. Wait, you want me to do it or check something? I'll do it. I've nothing else to do. I'll do it. Uh, right. Five <laughs> A. Uh right, so hit me with the question. What are you told? Mm-hmm. Two X minus three. These let me write that three but better. Like this? Yeah. Are factors of T X cube plus seventeen X squared. Yeah. Minus sixteen X. Yeah. Plus Q. Find P and Q of course. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, let me just put a line here so I can leave space for my calculator. Calculator goes here. Mm, nice. Right. Um, so they're factors. That means I know that P minus 4 over 3 cubed plus 17 times minus 4 over 3 squared minus 15 times more, uh, minus 4 over 3 plus q equals 0. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Right, so what's 4 cubed? Um, 4 times 4 is 16. 64 over 27 p plus q equals and then we'll use the calculator here. I'll double check it. I'm not saying I don't believe you, but I'll just double check it. 17 minus starry what? What's wrong? I see, you could just the one that you Yeah, but <laughs> it's fun. Okay. Look, look how great it is. All right. Uh, minus 15 times minus four over three. Is this what you said? So if I take that to the other side, it'll be minus 452 over 9. 
Okay, and next is this one. So that would be. Well, let me put a box around this. Okay, so the next one would be P three over two cubed plus seventeen times three over two squared <coughs> minus fifteen times three over two plus Q equals zero. Yeah, that's twenty seven over eight P plus Q equals calculator time. Um, 17, 3 over 2 squared minus 15 times 3 over 2. And to the other side will be minus 63 over 4. Yeah, 63. Why did I write 64? Because I'm exhausted. Right, 63. Right, again we should minus the equation. So we'll have minus 64. over 27 minus 27 over 8 I probably should use some brackets so it doesn't mess up and we'll get minus 1241 over 216 they cancel and then next one is minus 452 over 9 minus minus 63 over 4 and you get minus 241 over 36 so again yeah because I'm subtracting these so it's minus with a minus so um, P is 216 <coughs> over that's a 6 isn't it yeah and then I can get the Q It'll be minus 36 when you put it in. Okay, so that will be the Q, and then that will be the P. So P equals 6, Q equals minus 36. So what was the problem for you? Where did it go wrong? That would do it. Mm. Why is number so ridiculously Ask whoever made that book <coughs> for you. Is it in you? Could be. <laughs> 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 you, don't, you don't appreciate you don't appreciate the effort I went through to make the answers oh nice. Oh no. Yes. No, I really do. Yes. Appreciate it. <laughs> and now I'm like my head. It's way above my head limit. <laughs> yeah, I have to. How can you just like, like, calculate in your head like minus? You can't. Sixty-four. That's over why I called you at the start of the year. Yeah. <laughs> like Barbara. twenty-seven over eight. How can you just calculate with your head? In Korea, the numbers. Yeah, no, yeah, numbers are like definite. I've got news for you. You're not in Korea yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> numbers are definite. So I'm like trying to get used to it. Yes. Learning how to use a calculator. It's a good complaint. Yes. Yeah, but um, why do some calculators they put the answers in the decimal? Oh yeah. How can I change? This, you press this change? button here, this SD button. Oh. To change the form. Oh. Oh. What? What? You should have told us this like in our first class. I'm telling you now. <laughs> uh, what's the second? Well, you can make, make it like total. You uh, again? Yeah. Oh my God. God. I need to buy. Uh, but you know, like it's saying it's 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 for it's for like two, two, no, two decimal places. All oh, that's wrong with my calculator. I don't, I don't think your calculator has this calculator. mode. What a yeah. innovation! My goodness, I can't believe this is so exciting. No, like because I was like. You know why I gave up solving the problems? Because they were giving me the decimal numbers. Then I was like, oh. okay, like I'll wait until my calculator arrives. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Because I've no, never I used a calculator on that before. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Okay. Oh, you don't no. survive. Yes, now I'm finally able to do all the, like, calculations. Are you getting the calc? You have a calculator, yes, Chris. Um, but if the quantity moves up to, how can you move the answer? So again, if you can't... If the quantity moves up to... Ah, if you can't remove the Q? Yeah. Like, you mean if it was like this? Yeah. Ah, well, just multiply this by ah, 2. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, it's an um, yeah. elimination method, yeah. you know? So, like, if this was a 3 and this was a 2, you know, ah. multiply 2 and multiply 3. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what else do you need to see? What are you doing? Oh, good. What else do you need to see? Yeah? Conserve um, and calculate. Ah, good. Okay. Can I scroll down? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the cubic? Um, y equals... Um, don't be shy. No. Be I brave. <laughs> I don't know how to read when there is three. Yeah, what's, what's happening there? What's power three called? Cubic. Uh, no, they're not right. Don't listen to them. Try again. Cubed. Cubed. Yeah, go ahead. Um, 9x cubed. Very good. 9x cubed. Plus 10x. No, help them out. What's this one called? Squared. Squared, yeah. Minus 43x. Plus 24. Just 24. And we want to draw this, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So what do you do first? What are you talking about? That's not what you do first. Oh, oh, no, no. Yeah. yeah. How do you do that? You put in the numbers, like minus three to three. Yeah. You put in different numbers from minus three to three until until you get zero. Yes. Would you like to see how to do this on the calculator? Of course you would. Of course. Now watch this magic. If you thought the if you thought this bus button was great, oh. wait till you see the next thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Watch. Okay. Mode seven. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can actually yeah. put it in. Oh. Nine. Nine. Wait, wait, no, no, hang on, hang on, slow down, slow down. Nine, and then alpha x cubed plus ten alpha x squared. Guys, guys. Please, I'm teaching. Listen. Listen, you might learn something. Forty-three... Alpha X plus what's the number at the end? Twenty four. Uh, do I have to push Alpha X? Can I yeah, it? Alpha to get the X here. Why? Because the X is oh. red. Oh. Okay. Now <laughs> watch, watch, guys. Okay. Watch what I'm doing and do what I do. Okay. Okay. So then we press equals. Okay. And my calculator gives me this. Yours probably doesn't, so I'll just ignore that. And then start at minus tray, enter, end at tray, enter, and step is one in ones, enter. What does that mean? Ah, uh, the units you move in. Oh. So it tells you the x and the y for the x. So when x is minus three, y is zero. zero. Oh. When it's minus two, you can see. So which, uh, and then also at one, it's a. Uh, Zero. So the FX is like the remainder. No, no, the FX is the Y. The FX is the Y. This is the X okay. and this is the Y. This is the Y, is the y you get yeah. when you use this X. Oh, so what's the meaning of learning? No, no, no. What I'm doing is I'm trying to show you in the exam, if you wanted to, you could write this table in your book because all you're doing is getting different y values for different x values until you get zero. It takes a long time to type in all the numbers until you get zero. Mm -hmm. So I'm totally fine with you making a table like this 
and copying the table into your exam and then saying then saying something like we can see this is the root minus three or where was the other one one is a root yeah you get it so it's useful Whoops. Okay, um, so what do we do next after we have the root? So here the root is minus 3, so what's the factor? X plus 3. And then what do you do with the factor? You divide it in. And then what do you do with the answer? The, the quadratic on the top? You get you get the two answers here. Yeah. You know, so how many answers will we have here? We'll have minus three. That was our first one. And then how do we get the other two from this? Yeah. I'm not going to do that unless you want me to. But I think yeah. the long division is okay. Yeah. So you get the two answers. Now I'll be super lazy because I'm tired, and I'll have the calculator give me the other two answers. Would you like to see how to do that? Of course you would. <laughs> Mowed 54. 9, 10, minus 43, and 24. So the roots are minus 3, which we know about already. 1, and this is, um, I think this is... Um, 8 over 9, isn't it? No, that's definitely not 8 over 10. 8 over, eight over 9. Eight over nine. Eight over uh, so we have minus 3, 1, and 8 over 9. Let me just check that 8 over 9 business. Yeah. yeah. It is 8 over 9? Yeah. yeah. No, no, not this. Yeah. Yeah. A over 9. Uh, so 3, mm. 1, and 0 0.8 over 9. So it would look like this. Um, and what's this value here? 24. Your calculator cannot do any of this. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. How can I put F down in calculator? Put which? F. What this calculator can't do it. Okay. Oh wait, no, actually, hey, let me see. I think it can make the table. Hmm. Yeah. So you press alpha, okay. and X is down here. Oh, okay. Um, can you see? Okay. Yeah, here. Lucas, mm -hmm. look. Okay. Alpha, you see this button? Yes. Yeah. And X. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Try. Okay. I'm you did it? Yeah. Okay. Question? It's okay. Uh, do you have a question or are you just chit chatting? No, 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 no. Chit chatting? No, no, I, I think I need to know uh, yeah. how to use calculator. Mm -hmm. really what do you remember the name of the calculator I recommend? Mm -hmm. Casio. Best one for the course, okay? Oh, is that? I give up. I was <laughs> I guess that's one. Calculator. I think a lot of students are ordering it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. It seems to be the easiest thing to do. Yeah. You know Amazon, of course? Time. Amazon is a... Uh, how much how spar or...? They might have it, but a lot of spars and Tesco's, they have the calculator Lucas has, this okay. black one. Which is okay, I mean, that's fine. It's just you get more in this one. Okay. For example, the difference is in this calculator, you can do the uh, quadratic and the cubic and you know all that stuff, but on that calculator you can't. The only we thing you can, can do. Get in Amazon. Amazon, I think, is the best place to order it online. Amazon. How about offline? Hmm? 
Hmm, which one? Which store? Which store? I don't like to. You don't like to order online? Yeah. Uh, you the places you need to try Eason. No. No, it doesn't have it. Okay, don't try that. Uh, Argos. Argos. You could try these. Uh, you could try looking in spars to see if one of them has it. Uh, I doubt that they have it here, but maybe yeah. a bigger spar in the city centre oh. might have it. Uh, yet, and basically, just try well, just try different bookshops. You know, if you're walking around town and there's a bookshop, especially bookshops that have school books, if they have school books, then they're much more likely to have calculators. So if you come across a school bookshop like Eason's, I know Eason's doesn't, but another bookshop, they might have it. Yeah, but if you can't, I think you might have to go with Amazon online. Yeah. Oh, I tried every.